Hey guys, it's the Try Hard Gamer here. Uh, I've not done one of these yet, and I thought since, you know, I've played the game for years now, that it would be about time for me to go ahead and release a, um, tier list here for the best medium ships for combat in Elite Dangerous, in my opinion. I know some people are going to disagree with me on this. That's completely and utterly fine, but this is my opinion, okay? So we're going to start off with both of the Asps. Um, in my opinion, the Asps are trash absolute trash okay they function more like that like a small ship given how many uh, hit points that they have not hit points sorry hard points um and how they fly so i'm gonna put uh them in the d category um that's not to say you shouldn't buy an asp explorer or an asp scout um sometimes you need those ships as stepping stones to learn how to how to fight and some people don't have the money to buy anything else right all I'm saying is that compared to all of the other ships in this category, I do not think that they're good at all. I don't think they measure up by, by any stretch of the imagination. Now, could you engineer them? Yes. Could you make them work? Absolutely. And with engineering, just about anything, anything's possible. And I'm sure some people have some off the wall builds that they could do. But in my opinion, it just doesn't cut the mustard for me, okay? Uh, moving on to the Federal Gunship, I absolutely love the Federal Gunship, and the reason why is that it is a flying tank. It has an insane amount of hard points on them. It can dish out an insane amount of damage. Um, it's a flying brick, right? It's not maneuverable maneuverable at all, but what it lacks maneuverability, it makes up, up for in sheer firepower, okay? So I'm going to put the Federal Gunship at an A tier. All right. Now we've got the Federal Dropship. Um, the Federal Dropship is, is very interesting because it was the very first ship that I got that had drift. And I'm sure it's like that for a lot of people. Um, it's really the first ship that, that I learned to fly with drift in. And that's a very important skill that you have to build to learn how to pilot like a, an Imperial Cutter, for example. Right? <laughs> that thing drifts all over the place. So, um, though it doesn't have that many hard points, it's got some really, really good uh, hull strength on it. Makes for a good hull tank. So, I think I'm going to put that in the C tier. Alright. Now we've got the king, in my opinion. The Federal Assault Ship. Now, it is true the Federal Assault Ship does not have a lot of hit points. But what it, it lacks in hit points, it by far makes up for in maneuverability. This thing can zoom it is amazing okay so i'm gonna put that up into the upper a tier now we come to every pvp -er's favorite uh i roll my eyes at that <laughs> not because i think they're wrong just because i really don't like this ship uh it is the fertile ants i don't like it i think partially because i think everyone and their mother's flying it and with a lot of pvp -ers, the way that it is is like there is one meta and if you do not stick to that meta, you're absolute trash, right? I disagree with that sentiment. I like to see experimental builds. I like to see builds that people come up with on, on their own. I don't like cookie cutter builds. I don't like cookie cutter ships. So I don't like the Fertile Lance. That being said, that being said, the Fertile Lance does outclass just about every ship on this uh, list when it comes to its attributes, its maneuverability, its... Um, uh, hard point convergence as well as it it's fine firing power so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the S tier though I hate it I absolutely hate it um, here we have I believe that's the types no that's not the type 6 that's the killback killback is a transport ship wouldn't recommend it for combat at all so it's going in the D tier next one is the crate mark 2 crate mark 2 is a fantastic ship um, though it is ultimately a sister or brother ship of one of the other ones on this list, it has almost the exact same uh, hard points and um, optional slots. Uh, this is, is, is a pretty good ship, right? I know people swear by it. I've seen some crazy builds, especially um, with um, especially with some of the weapons that they were using. They were one and two sh shotting ships. Uh, that being said, I mean, it's pretty quick. It's agile. I actually killed my first Anaconda with a Crate Mark II. 
which I thought was an absolute, you know, milestone in Elite Dangerous. Uh, so it's it's overall a pretty decent ship. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the B category. Okay, now we've got the Crate Phantom. What's interesting about this ship is that I've seen a lot of people run combat builds for this, and one of the reasons why that is is because with the right engineering, this thing has almost uh, infinite perma boost. So that's an interesting sort of wild card to throw in there. Its hard points are similar to the Federal Assault ship, so you've got that, but it's it's not nearly as maneuverable, in my opinion, as the Federal Assault ship. And because of that, I'm going to put it down in the B tier. Now we have, in my opinion, the best looking ship in the game. And it makes me weep. It makes me weep. You might be asking, why does it make you weep? It makes me weep because I wish more builds were viable for this ship. But it has horrible, horrible hardpoint convergence absolutely terrible hardpoint convergence and I wish it didn't oh man I love this this ship too much or so much not only that it's not that maneuverable you would think with the sleek design it would be really maneuverable but it's just not it's just not I know some people swear by it and I wish I could swear by it so bad I love this ship uh, but I can't so I'm gonna put uh, the Mamba in the lower B tier it's not a terrible ship. You should definitely buy one. It's fun to fly, and it's got um, it's got a really cool front visual. When you look out your cockpit, you could see the two prongs that are sticking out of the sides of the ship. It's the only ship uh, in the game that that does that has that visual. So that's really cool. Now we we move on to one of my personal favorites, which is the Python. I absolutely love the Python. I swear by it. I think it's amazing. It is really, really sturdy. It's got some amazing hull strength. Absolutely amazing hull strength. You can you can build this thing as a hull tank, and you can knock pirates out of the sky all day long. It's got some decent hard points and really, really good optional slots. So I'm going to put the Python in the A category. Now we move on to the Type 6. The Type 6 is a D because it's a transport ship. Okay, now we have, I believe that is the Crusader, the Alliance Crusader. We move on to one of my favorite ships in the game, if not my favorite ship in this game. Um, the Crusader is okay. You know, it's not bad. Not as maneuverable as the Chieftain. And um, it's, got, it's got similar hard points to it. I'm going to put it in the lower B tier. Okay, now we've got the Challenger. Challenger is pretty much similar to the Crusader. Um, it's got some minor differences, but to be honest with you, um, the, the biggest difference between all three is really its maneuverability, right? It's got um, very similar hard points, very similar optional slots. So they're kind of clones of each other, except for a couple attributes on them. So I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put this in the upper C category. Now, my absolute favorite ship of the game, hands down, my absolute favorite ship of the game is the Alliance Chieftain. I absolutely, 100%, unequivocally love this ship. I love it because of its pitch and y'all. I love it because of its overall maneuverability, its overall speed, um, and its overall ability to just crack ship, ships open uh, like a nut, okay? If you put frags on this thing, you'll be one, two, and three shotting ships. I've got a video on my YouTube channel. You guys might want to look it up. It's called uh, The Hurricane. It says, uh, take something like takes out an anaconda in nine seconds. I did it with that ship right there. I outfitted double shot um, frag cannons on it. And uh, it was it was an abs it was absolutely amazing. I was like one and two shotting ships in some of the missions that I was doing. Because of its speed, because of its maneuverability, 
because of its ability to make extensive use of frags in a way that I just find absolutely hilarious, I'm definitely going to move it up to the S tier, okay? Now, that being said, I know I'll probably get some comments, right? Some um, disgruntled comments. <laughs> Everybody, you know, people can disagree about things. That's completely fine, but that's really my opinion on the medium ships. Um, I don't think it's really too controversial. I think that I would agree with a lot of you uh, and disagree with, with some of you on, on some of your views on this. The thing is, is that in Elite Dangerous, it really is a relativistic concept when it comes to ships. And what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is, is that um, really it's about what ship is the right ship for you. You can take um, a drop ship and engineer the crap out of it, and make it really, really, really viable for in-game content. You absolutely can, right? So it's just about what you like to fly and what you personally like when it comes to um, the ships in the game. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Uh, and if you guys have any questions, make sure you uh, give them to me. I'll do my best to answer. See ya.